Hello everybody, it's Jade, and I just wanted to preface this video by saying that since we are in the middle of um, this process called integration, like we all become one person. Casey and Quinn have been kind of out lately, so they haven't been around as much. Um, they don't really come out anymore, and I think this is all part of the integration. Um, hopefully Casey and Quinn can say something individually to you guys before they completely integrate, um, but just wanted to say that Casey and Quinn will not be a part of this video, and it's just me, Alex, and Max. All of the alters just kind of merge together. Yeah, since we are in the process of integration, this video will be slightly different than the other ones because all of the alters are becoming alike. I don't know how to explain it, but it's kind of like when you go through puberty, you know how like over the years you kind of progress and change? It's kind of like that except sped up by like 500. Oh, and you guys are asking about this like blister on our arm. This is an allergic reaction from uh, like a tape that they put on our IV and so it's not it's not anything important it's just kind of like a blister and it's not painful so it's okay so you guys don't need to worry hey everybody it's Max <clears throat> it's been a while since we uploaded an actual video and not a live stream I'm pretty excited to get back on YouTube a lot of you are really supportive you guys are all really nice so today's video is going to be a sponsored video and there was this company, they're a clothing company and they have really cute clothes. I hope you guys check it out because it's a really great site. I love all their clothing. It's not like cheap, cheap material. It's actually like pretty high quality. We just wanted to share with you all the clothes that we got and to show you how we dress in the inside world. Here are the shorts. It has a little moon on it and I love it. I'll be posting all the links of the items in the description box. Guess who it is? It's Alex! <laughs> I'm back! And I'm back with the coolest shirt in the world! So this cute shirt is called the farting cat shirt, which I thought was adorable. And there are just these like identical looking cats everywhere. And it's pink. This is the shirt and I'm wearing it with my favorite pair of jeans. I actually, this is my second time recording this. And the first time I dropped my iPad while trying to like show you guys what my jeans look like. So these are the jeans that I'm wearing with my favorite shirt. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna pass this on to the next person now. Bye. Hi everybody, it's Jade. And I just got changed into the clothes that I ordered from the website that Max was talking about. And isn't this so cute? They have polar bears. I'm the mom of polar bear and this is Max. Or Alex, I don't really care. So these are the jeans. If it weren't for the size, I would be happy with it, but I would probably still wear this. All right, time to give the camera off to the next person because I'm tired. Okay, bye. I got this really cute sweater and it's perfect because it says Max. So it has a little duck or a goose. I don't really know. Um, I think it's a goose. Comment down below if you think this is a duck or a goose, okay? I think it's a goose. It's really loose, which I think is comfortable. And the turtleneck is pretty good too. I like it. It's gonna be perfect for the winter. I really like this sweater. Okay, bye. Hi, YouTube. Um, it's Max. I sorry i have social anxiety so even though i'm speaking to a camera it still feels like i'm speaking to thousands of people on the internet so <sighs> so someone 
commented on one of our videos that they want to meet me, Max. So I got a special request from Alex to come out and say something and answer some questions that you guys left in the comments. Oh, and meet, um, this is Peter. I like calling him Bubbles though because he's very bubbly and fat. I mean, just plump. Question by Super Pig. Um, is there a specific personality who responds to the comments or do different people respond? You're very brave to do videos like this. Good for you. Okay. Um, first of all, thank you. It takes a lot of courage, especially for me to come out and do this stuff. But I want, I want people to know more about DID and how it affects us because it's so stigmatized and I don't want people to be afraid to get to know us because we like people for the most part. Um, well, to answer your question, Super Pig, um, Alex is the one who started this YouTube channel. But she had to get all of our permission first. And all of us meaning me and Jess, Jade, Casey, Quinn. Um, and we all said yes because we think that it's for, it's, it's a good idea to, like I said, fight against the stigma and stuff. But Alex is the one who generally runs the YouTube channel since she's the one who started it. Um, but sometimes Casey and I, um, well, all of us really, they, we, we um, read the comments because they're all really supportive and they have good vibes and I like good vibes and people are really nice on the internet. So um, all of us kind of read the comments, but Alex is the one who generally responds. Okay. There's a question by Rachel Schmidt. Has there ever been a time where you and a personality don't get along? Yeah, there has been, there has been many, many instances where um, some of the altars don't get along with each other and they fight. And in our first video, just kind of talked about it um sometimes like we we want things to go well for Jess and we all have her best interest in mind but sometimes well a lot of the times our methods are different and so we disagree on the on the methods that we use to make Jess's life better um like when I blocked out a lot of Jess's traumatic history from her and blocked out her memories. Um, a lot of the other altars were against it because they thought that um, Jess could handle it and I was just holding it from her and keeping it censored and censorship is highly debatable I think. It says question for Alex by M. Cruz. Um, but I, I want to answer this question. If you love YouTube so much, what video or YouTuber is your favorite? Um, Alex likes pony makeup. Um, if you guys don't know her, we'll link her in the description box. Um, pony is a Korean makeup artist and she uploads really pretty makeup tutorial videos and Alex really loves her, and that's where she learned how to do all her makeup. I don't like makeup that much. Makeup's not really my thing. But Alex and Casey do it, because they like, they like looking pretty, I guess. I'm a boy, by the way. I'm the only boy in this system, so I don't get that many boy clothing, but I have boy jeans and some boy t-shirts that I wear when I can. There's a question by Crystal Chavez. 
Do you feel like your ethnic background affects you and the system differently than it would other systems with a Western background? Um, most of the other systems on YouTube are Western or white, so I was curious as to what the differences would be. Also, if Jess can speak Korean, does that mean all the other alters can as well? Um, so this is actually really interesting because um, I think that DID is most common in the in among Western or white people. Um, I think that it's it's definitely different because of the cultural influence. Um, like our trauma history is from our parents and because our our trauma is from a different country and like from different parts of the world and some of the trauma was socially acceptable in a way like it wasn't acceptable really it was just less um, less criticized by other people from watching other YouTubers with DID like Dissocia DID and the Entropy System and Multiplicity in Me they're all from different they're all from different backgrounds and they're all from different parts of the world and they have different trauma but I know for a fact that DID is most common among women with a history of sexual abuse. Um, so I guess that's a similarity amongst a lot of people with DID. But it can also be caused by any other trauma. And so, yeah, DID is like a secondary diagnosis from PTSD. Not all of us can speak Korean, which is interesting because we all share the same brain, but it's like we take up different compartments of the brain. Um, like I have more of the, the mathematical and scientific brain. I mean, I still feel a lot of emotions, but they're more manageable since I'm more left-brained, if you know what I mean. And so I can speak Korean um, and Jess can speak Korean and Quinn and Jade can speak Korean, but Casey and Alex don't know how to speak Korean. They only need, they only know how to read it. There's a question by Meg Pond. How does one alter know more about others if the body hasn't even read that? Like for example, Max reads books, how does that work? Like anybody else, we get our knowledge from outside sources. So I can only um, absorb more information from things that I read when I'm out. and. So I learned a lot from reading Jess's textbooks and when I go back in, I kind of delve into that deeper and explore it a little more um, when I can. Most of the time I'm more dissociating and derealizing so I can't really study up on the stuff that I read when I'm out, when I'm in, but uh, I don't know if that made any sense. I'm sorry. Um, when Jess said that I read books, it she meant that I just reread the things that I read when I'm out. The comment from female gamer was, um, can we meet Max? My little wants to see him and so that's why I came out. That was the comment that that got me to film this video. There is a question by Audrey Tor. Do you watch any of the other DID systems on YouTube? Yes, because we want to see how other YouTubers 
with DID explain their their symptoms and so that we can compare and contrast and really make the most out of our channel by not repeating a lot of the same things that other YouTubers already have talked about. And also just to really see how similar our symptoms are because I know that um, I saw Chloe's dissociation from Dissocia DID. You guys should check her out. She's really awesome. Um, and our dissociation looks really similar. Our, our switch looks really similar. By Sanja, I see a box of crayons on your nightstand. Is that for Alex? No, that's for me. I like to color and I actually do a lot of the journaling that's in this journal like this stuff. I, I like art a lot. I like writing poems too. And I have this, I have this giant box of Crayola markers, the super tips. Um, I, I love coloring. This has 50 colors, so I like coloring. Alex doesn't really like to color other than coloring on our face. There is a question by Montevagant R. This might be too personal of a question, but do you guys think that you have or have had any other alters, either fragments or dormant alters? Has anyone integrated? Um, I think that we have had other alters that were not active and we can feel a presence, but they they're scary, so we don't like to interact with them. Um, they take up a corner of a room, and they're they feel like like bitter and resentful and really hurt and sad things, and it's kind of like like Dementors from Harry Potter. Um, yeah, that's the closest we can get to it, though. Um, we don't like to be around them. Has anyone integrated? Um, well, no, because she didn't even know that she had a problem or a mental illness until like February of this year. She doesn't want any of us to integrate because she thinks that we're just going to go away if we integrate, but that's obviously not true. Um, I think that integration is a good idea for all of us because we don't want to function as six different people living in one body because it just seems like that'll make life more chaotic for Jess and we don't want to make things harder for her. Question by Bree Ishley. If one alter learns a song like the one you were singing, do the others learn it? Or does everyone have totally separate knowledge? Like, is Max the only one who can take the physics classes? We, we have some knowledge that we share, like common knowledge, and we also have knowledge that we don't share. And this is very selective. Like, I keep my physics to myself most of the time because while well, the others don't want to hear about it I tried to talk to mommy about it mommy's Jade by the way my mommy is Jade Jade is my mommy anyway I contain some of the traumatic memories from Jess and Jess doesn't know those things so she has big gaps in her childhood that she doesn't remember and that's because I'm holding it from her I have a big role, I'm only six. The physics classes, I enjoy taking those classes, but if I wanted to share my knowledge with Jess about it and Jess wanted to know more about physics, then I can unblock it from her and she can have those mem have those memories that from me and we can share it. But it's only if we are both willing. Usually songs are common knowledge for all of us. We, we have different tastes in music, but a lot of the songs that we know, 
you know how like songs get stuck in your head well when a song gets stuck in some like one of the altars heads then we it kind of permeates and echoes throughout the brain and so other altars can hear it question by Sherilyn Wong does each altar have a specific birthday and if so do you guys celebrate it and how well my birthday is March 3rd and Jess's birthday is May 22nd that's the body's birthday but my birthday is March 3rd I would celebrate and come out on March 3rd and so that's why Jess usually she doesn't have memories of March 3rd in her life but it's not like it's very important to her or anything um, but I celebrated it by eating a cupcake with a candle on it and the candle would always be blue because my favorite color is blue um, and I would buy myself something really small for myself with Jess's money and I actually got bell we're in Tennessee right now so I got a little bell that says Tennessee on it so yeah I like playing with that bell it kind of reminds me of of a little tinker bell and so I like it question by Lauren M why are you in a psych ward did your parents send you there um we're here voluntarily which means we came here on our own will and um, Jess's parents didn't send us here. Jess went to a hospital in Arizona and the hospital people sent us here to Tennessee. And this is a long-term treatment facility. I don't like calling it a psych ward, but you know, whatever. Um, but Jess's insurance covers it and Jess's college, um, is covering the insurance and so that's why we're here so Jess's parents have nothing to do with this other than the reason other than the fact that they're the reason why we have to be hospitalized in the first place um, but Jess was going through a really tough time this year in the winter and so that's why she went to a hospital and that's why they sent us here Question by Riley Smith. Are there any activities that one altar likes but another doesn't? Definitely. Alex and Casey like makeup, especially Alex. I like my physics and my Rubik's Cube. You guys want to watch me do my Rubik's Cube? I can do it in like less than a minute. I learned this from a friend in Jess's college and I thought it was just so fun and I love all the colors on this cube and it just makes me happy when I finish it because it feels, I feel a sense of accomplishment. Done. Okay. All right, that was all the questions. I hope you guys liked it. Say bye to Peter Bubbles. Um, I should come up with a better name for this guy. Poor Peter Bubbles. Anyway, hope you liked it. And I can sing a song for you guys if you want. Let's do like a little karaoke in the next video, okay? All right, bye.